What's up guys, I Warcraft here, the WoW Vlogger, and today I got an update on Thing 3, my level 18 Hunter, and that's right, I leveled up since the last video. Um, I know it's not a great accomplishment, but uh, the level up took place in the Wailing Caverns, and uh, it was a pretty sweet run, and a lot of loot. So let's go over Wailing Caverns. It's a 5-player five, five player dungeon, uh, level 15 to 25, so it's a bump up from Dead Mines and uh, Rage Fire. And it's located in Northern Barrens. I don't even know where that is. And again, Dungeon Finder, Dungeon Finder, for the win. Um, so, in the run, we had a Druid as our tank, a Priest as our healer, a Rogue, a Paladin, and myself. Um, near the beginning of the run, a bow drops, and it's better than my bow. Well, not anymore, but. It was better than the bow I had. So I click need. The priest clicks need too. So I don't get the bow. Um, I was really mad about it. Uh, I was talking to the uh, dungeon leader, party leader, and I was like, this priest. And he, he started clicking need for every drop, even if it was male. He clicked need. I felt bad for the paladin. He, he missed out on some good armor. And it was ridiculous. So I was talking to the party leader, I was like, we gotta get this guy out, we gotta get a new healer. And he's like, yeah, you're right, this guy just is in it for the items, he's not even healing us. Which he wasn't, he wasn't healing us at all. So, we did, and actually, my the first good blue item that I got was the uh, glowing lizard scale cloak. So uh, here's the stats of that. 34 armor, plus 6 agility, plus 2 stamina. Uh, so that is amazing. And I was like, wow, I need that for my hunter. Agility, stamina. Oh my gosh. Need. The priest clicks need too. And I was like, come on. But I did end up getting it. After that, we told the group to meet up. And uh, we voted the priest out. Got a new healer. And the rest of the run was flawless. But we didn't end up killing all four of the bosses um, for the quest. Cleaning up the caverns. You have to clean, kill all four of the main bosses. We didn't, we didn't end up doing that. But, um... We didn't finish the instance itself, we didn't finish it, uh, because we just disbanded, uh, it was taking too long, and, you know, we just didn't feel like, you know, I wanted to do the rest of it, but the other guys couldn't, so. One of the rewards I missed out on was from that quest that we didn't finish, and they were Cobron's boots, so, they had 69 armor, 4 agility, and 4 stamina, and, uh, increases your critical strike rating by 4. Um, those are great boots, also for a hunter, and uh, I'll have to run Wailing Caverns again to finish up that quest and get those boots. So, um, Wailing Caverns, I gotta admit, uh, it wasn't my favorite. Not at all. Um, it was really confusing, and for that level of dungeon, it was really long. I was surprised. And we only did like half of it, and I still thought it was really long. Rage Fire, Dead Mines, they were quick. Um, Wailing Caverns, not so much. Uh, it was kind of bland. I didn't, it wasn't visually pleasing to me, and it was just really confusing. Um, we we're getting lost left and right. But uh, one, the best drop of the day, and I am, I, I was so amazed because I didn't check over this page here on Wow's website with all the drops on it. I didn't, I didn't check over it before we went on Wailing Caverns, so I had no idea that there was a blue bow that drops in it. Um, so, here we are killing Lord Serpentis, and, uh, I'm DPSing it, my pet, update on my pet also, I'm DPSing it, um, we're destroying it, we kill him, boom, this bow drops, Venom Strike, and I was like, what, are you kidding me, that just dropped, really, um, bow, it's a bow, Venom Strike, uh, 34, 60, to 64 damage, speed is 2.7, uh, 18.1 damage per second, and the equipped, which is great, is a chance to strike your ranged target with a Venom Strike for 38 nature damage. Now when that, when the Venom Strike happens, uh, I hit around a 125, and it's really sweet. The bow is amazing, I was so, so happy to get that bow. Um, that idiot priest wasn't there to click need, I click need, boom, got it, it looks sweet, and uh, it performs amazingly. And I do have another update 
um, I have two more updates with my pet and PvP. So, but let's move on to the last thing I got, which was probably the best thing I got: the leather chest armor of the Fang. Hmm. My armor was terrible, and getting this just bumped my guy up so much. Um, 100 armor, plus 8 agility, plus 6 stamina. Great armor. I was so pumped to get it. It's, it's blue. Um, the drop chance is very high, but still, getting the need roll was amazing, and uh, I'm really excited about that. So, that was uh, Wailing Caverns. Um, a little disappointed with it because we didn't finish the whole thing. But I did get a lot of great, great loot from it. So I'm really, really happy um, in the end with the end turnout. And uh, now I got an update on my pet and uh, on some battlegrounds. So yeah. All right, guys. So as you may know, if you've ever played Hunter at level 18, you get the choice to get another pet. So I went to my trainer, got Call Pet Two. That's what it's called. Is that's how you get another pet. Um, and uh, I dismissed my first pet, which doesn't get rid of it, it just like sends it away, and you can call it back. And uh, I was in the uh, Red Ridge Mountains, and I was running around just looking for something cool to catch, and I saw this little black looking dog thing in the distance, I was like, whoa, what is that? So I ran over there, and it ended up being a fox. So uh, I ended up catching it, it's my new pet, uh, I like it a lot more than the tiger I had at the beginning because Night Elves start out with a tiger. Um, hopefully I'll be seeing all this soon, guys. I know I've been saying this, but I want to be able to record the screen as I play and then have a commentary on that. But it's a Red Ridge Fox, I think it's called. I named him Foxtrot from, like, the Army and Navy callouts and all that. And it's, it's really cool. And uh, he has bite instead of claw. So, I mean, it's not much different than my tiger, but uh, it's pretty cool. So... Moving on, um, I don't think I've said this yet because my first my first vlog video was uh, about two two dungeons. So I love PvP. I love PVE. I love dungeons, and I love PvP. Um, so last night I was a little bored. Uh, I didn't feel like running Wailing Caverns again. So entered uh, Warsong Gulch. Now usually in Warsong I'll go. Eight, 8 killing blows, like 12 deaths, and like around 7,000 damage. And I hadn't gone in there in a while, since probably level 13 or 14. And now with all my new items, I was really confident. I went in there, and it was the best Warsong Gulch game of my life. And, uh... Because I, I never really did PvP on my Paladin, seriously. So, I never had, like, great games, but... On this one, I was taking on level 19 Twinks that I don't know why they're in there because Battlegrounds give you XP now, but they're in there and uh, they all had um, all these enchants and fire weapon and all that. And so I was a little worried. Um, but ends up, I started using my uh, Concussion Shot and Scatter Shot. Concussion slows them down and scatter shot completely stuns them and they just walk around. Um, I started using those and then switched to my aim shot, which is a slow shot, but it deals around 200, 300 damage every time. So I would go scatter shot, he would be running around, aim shot, and then I would go, if it was a warrior trying to get to me, or a paladin, or a rogue, I would go concussion shot, and then do um, arcane shot, serpent sting, and all that. With my new bow and all my new equipment, I ended up going 15 and 8 with 21,000 damage in the whole in the whole battleground. And I was, I would sprint up. Our flag carrier would be needing help. I would run up there. Me and like I think it was another rogue. We were basically together the whole time. And I would sprint up there. We would start unloading DPS and we would take out their whole team. It was amazing. And one of the highlights of that match was there was a Twink Rogue on their team. Um, and it had Crusader and it had Mongoose. The two, in my opinion, one of the two of the best in, uh, um, enchantments in the game. And it was me 
which I'm not a twink whatsoever, I just have PvE gear from my level, and no enchantments, um, so it was me and a priest against this rogue, so I started unloading, uh, doing all my, all my combos that I knew, and my pet was, I was using kill command for my pet, which, I mean, probably was dealing 100, 100 to 200 damage each time, and the priest was healing me. This fight lasted literally 8 minutes, 10 minutes, um, because that rogue was just so good, and I did end up getting the killing blow, and I did end up doing it on a uh, scatter shot to aim shot combo, and, you know, I really want to have a video of PvP before I level up to uh, 20, because it's really cool at that level 19 stage, level 10 to 19 uh, battleground, it's really cool to see that compared to like the 80, 85 battleground, so this was amazing, it was the best PvP I've ever done, uh, 21,000 damage, and it was really, really fun, so had a blast yesterday, a really good day of World of Warcraft, and hopefully you like this blog this vlog of World of Warcraft, so, um, again, if you want to play World of Warcraft for free, go down to the link below, click that, and, uh, sign up there, and start earning points to play World of Warcraft for free, but other than that, guys, it's been iWarcraft's, uh, WoW vlog, and thanks for watching, and I'm gonna go play my hunter, see you later, guys.